I'm Erin Bank, a member of the InterSource Commons community. The people in this community are from various companies across the industry that are pursuing intersourcing and are working together to share and establish intersource best practices. One part of this is building a collaborative portal of common challenges that companies are facing with intersource, or donuts. As proven resolutions are identified, the community will fill the holes. When a donut hole is filled, the donut becomes a bona fide intersource pattern that others pursuing intersource can benefit from. So let's pick a donut from the Intersource Commons Wiki, available from intersourcecommons.org, and take a look at it. Every donut represents a problem. So if you've got an intersource problem that you'd like to document and you'd like the community to help you solve it, be sure to state the problem crisply and clearly. Your problem statement should include the cause of the problem and the impact of the problem. Now that we've got a high-level understanding of our problem, let's break it down a bit. The context will tell us the pre-existing conditions. These are things that we're not able to change, stuff like company size or a history of acquisitions. In this example, the context is that the customer deadlines and delivery commitments are not going to change. So this isn't going to be a trade-off that can help resolve the situation. Forces are things that make the problem challenging to solve. These are constraints that can be changed or traded off, but most likely at a cost. So now we've got our donut defined, including problem statement, context, and forces. But before we discuss the resolution, what is the outcome we'd like to see? Instead of no reusable code and duplicative development, the resulting context we'd like is less duplicative development due to the availability of reusable code. It should be mentioned that this will not impact customer commitments. In fact, it could even speed up time to market. So how do we achieve that outcome? Members of the InterSource Commons community have had success by providing education to product owners and development leads on the time-saving benefits of intersourcing. And of course, by allocating time for intersourcing tasks into developer schedules during sprint and release planning. But we're not done yet. Join the Intersource Commons community to help us figure it out. Or contribute Intersource Donuts and share patterns of your own at intersourcecommons.org.